Hello friends, this is the MC Aim, and this is my quick review of Grumpy Mule's Brazil Ground Coffee. And let's take a look at the pack. It says Brazil Deterra Sunrise. For those who know how to take it easy, carried from Deterra Estates, Minas Gerais, Brazil, with taste notes of caramel, biscuit, and hazelnut. This bag is full of ground coffee and it will kick you this hard, which is 3 out of 5. And there we go, Rainforest Alliance certified. The description on the back is Some people like scented can candles and look at pictures of tropical beach scenes on the laptop. Others prefer, prefer to have a sit down and drink Brazil Deterra Sunrise. Now it's not that way of saying that coffee from our friends at the Deterra Estates in the Minas, Minas region of Brazil, where the altitude, flat terrain and mild climate helps grow a beautifully balanced, award-winningly mellow bean, is better for a good old relax than candles, tea and a beach scene. It's just that it definitely is. So. The best before date there is the 13th of February 2020 and 227 grams and normally around £5 for this coffee but I've seen it on offer in Tesco for three, £3.19 so I thought it was worth a try although I seem to be quite unimpressed by um, Grumpy Mule coffees so there is the um, brewing guide and more on the side there, storage instructions and contact info. So that is it for the pack and quick look at the ground coffee, quite a coarse grind, uh, quite, I thought it was light in colour but looking at it now it looks quite darkish but yeah it is quite a orangey sort of brown lightish colour um, when I purchased this coffee I walked around TK Maxx for half an hour sniffing the bags and rejecting them all because they had that dull woody hazelnut aroma um, I don't really like and then I seen this one on offer in Tesco as I said so I picked it up and when I got home and opened the bag, I was disappointed to find this coffee had that same aroma as the ones that they um, rejected in TK Maxx earlier on. And it's a similar story with all the Grumpy Mule coffees I've reviewed. They have all been quite underwhelmingly um, dull and lifeless in aroma. They have a sort of premium price in the supermarkets that's sort of totally undeserved in my opinion. Definitely not roaster quality and in some cases not better than a supermarket own brand coffee for around the £3 mark. But maybe a lot of people like sort of hazelnut flavoured coffee which you do see in the shops a lot. Um, in which case maybe you'll love this coffee. Um, so yeah, a bit dull in aroma and as I say that sort of hazelnut, walnut aroma doesn't really agree with me. So taste wise it's not as bad as I was expecting from the aroma but nothing special either. It's quite flat and dull in honesty but the description of the taste notes on the pack is quite accurate. It's chocolatey with caramel, biscuit and nutty hints there but it's not quite quite like the usual Brazilian coffees and um, this is very very mellow and it's pleasant enough with a taste that's not going to offend anyone and even though it's a bit weak bland and mellow it does have quite a distinct taste so I give it credit there but it's not a coffee for me and this one scores a 3 out of 5 but if you like your coffee mellow and mild, this may be a coffee for you, especially if you, if like me, you see it on offer in um, Tesco. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee 
but let me know your opinions on um, Grumpy Mule, um, whether you think they're good coffees or average or bad in some cases um, with the decafs I've tried. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see coffee reviews in the future, please do so. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.